Jake, first of all, I just want to get your thoughts on Simon Edmondson, the young defenseman, making his debut against Colorado. What did you think of what you saw from him? Yeah, um, I thought he was great. Um, showed that he had confidence kind of right away, and that's what uh, makes you successful. So, yeah, just uh, keep going, and we're excited. You guys looking to get back on track in the back-to-back, -back, obviously, tonight against Florida, but you go back to St. Louis for the first time since the trade. What's that going to be like for you? Uh, yeah, it'll be weird. It'll be fun. Uh, I got a lot of uh, friends there and uh, a lot of ties with St. Louis I'll always have, so i um, excited to play against those guys. They got a lot of good guys up front. Um, excited to go against my buddy Kairu there, so he's uh, hopefully we can get a picture at the beginning of the game and then uh, this game on. Well, you're not the only one that's returning because David Perron and Billy Huso going back too. What's a, you know, having those two guys you've all made an impact here in Detroit and now going back to St. Louis. Yeah, it's uh, it'll be fun and I mean we had even more guys. I feel like uh, when I came in here there's a lot of blues guys so it's uh, familiar. I think we'll probably go out for dinner at one point with all those guys and it'll be fun. I think it's uh, it'll be a competitive game and we're all looking to, to, to win it. If you could just speak to David, and uh, he's had a big role here in the room and on the ice. So, what has he brought, and what did the Blues miss without him? You can flip it both ways. Um, I mean, if I was in charge of making a team, that's somebody that I'd want on my team for sure. Um, someone that lights up the room off the ice and on the ice, and um, you need a guy like that. And I think it's uh, really important, especially here, we're building a, a winning culture, and he's going to be a big part of it for sure. Jake and obviously guys get up when they're facing the former team. Do you feel some of that right now? A little amped up. I know you want to, don't want to get ahead of yourself, but do you feel some of that rolling through the veins right now? Yeah, I mean, it's at the end of the day, it's just a hockey game and uh, it's another game for us. But at the same time, I think it'd be a lot sweeter going into St. Louis and getting a win. So um, I think the guys will be motivated. Even the guys that, that know us uh, in the room here will probably try and get the win. There are like five of you guys. Do you guys talk about, hey, what's, you see what they did last night or like go, stuff going on with them too? I mean, the Blues, do you guys talk about it? Well, you have five guys that, you know, played. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, we know all those guys pretty well. So whatever happens on the ice, if something happens there, we kind of get firsthand. We know we know kind of what's going on. Um, like I said, my my best friend uh, in the hockey world is Kyrou. So he's, uh, I talk to him every day and I'm excited to see him. You just comment on tonight's game as well, obviously trying to get back on track. And Florida's another team that's fighting for a playoff spot. So what do, what do they bring tonight? What do you guys have to change from Saturday's performance? Yeah, um, I think every game now is it's good for us. It's a learning experience. It's it's um, all teams are playing playoff hockey now, so it's it's a good experience for us. Um, we got to play our game and um, no giving up. So if we can give those guys a hard test tonight, it'll be great. Thanks, Jake.